Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the equipment that you need to get your pressure washing business started and off the ground. My name is Jeremy. I'm with Kentucky Wash Pros. I started this business about three and a half years ago from a pressure washer in the back of my truck and dragging it around washing houses. And you can see this is what I've built today. And I've built every bit of this. So it's been a long journey. Uh, I've tucked in a lot of information. So I'm wanting to pass this along with you guys and show you everything that I've learned and uh, what kind of equipment it takes for you to be successful. Uh, equipment is vital in pressure washing. Obviously, um, we all don't start like this unless you're able to start like this with a system like this. Uh, you know, this is a very expensive rig. If you were to go out and buy this rig, the way that this um, pressure washing rig is currently set up would probably cost you around $30,000 to $40,000, depending on where you buy this at with the systems that we have on it. But today I wanna to hone in on some, some beginner equipment, or you know, if you're looking to get into it and you just have the cash flows and cash reserves to start out with something like this, and that's okay as well. I don't recommend you going out and financing equipment to get started. You're better off putting your money in marketing. So let's go ahead and jump right in on the pressure washers. So you can see right here, I've got two setups. This is my 10 gallon a minute Honda IGX 800 pressure washer. This thing right here is a house. This is what we do with all of our concrete cleaning. I don't really recommend anyone to start out with a 10 gallon a minute machine unless you plan on just doing a ton of flat work or if you've got a contract or something like that, make the upgrades when you need the upgrades. That over there is a DIY uh, eight gallon a minute pressure washer build that uh, I did. Uh, so we just picked this motor up from Harbor Freight and then we've uh, got this system, the skid, the pump, and everything you need to put this together from Russ Johnson at Southside Equipment. He sells the kits if you have the motor. But um, that's where you can get that from. But I recommend uh, Hondas over Predators. Um, this was a budget-friendly build at the time when we did it. I definitely would recommend going with a IGX 690 with an eight gallon a minute pressure washer uh, if you're gonna be looking at getting a big machine. And uh, I would highly advise you that if you're just starting out to at bare minimum, start out with a four gallon a minute machine. If possible, five and a half gallons, but four gallons a minute is where you need to start it. When I started out of the back of my truck, we started at, um, three and a half gallons a minute and just slowly evolved into a six and a half gallon and then to an eight and then to a 10. And we just kind of took our time. These machines are highly sophisticated. This is a fuel injected machine. You know, you've got belts and you've got tensioners and stuff like that. So if you're just getting started, something like this might be just a bit overwhelm, overwhelming to you until you get a little bit educated on how to run these and set these up. But this right here is just an absolute concrete eater. When I say that, you can actually walk really fast behind your surface cleaner when cleaning concrete. Now the eight gallon a minute is primarily used for house washing and we love to downstream. That's our preferred method of cleaning the house is downstreaming. Um, and the eight gallon is just, in my opinion, the ideal pressure washer to wash houses with. Next, I wanna talk about hose reels. Um, when I was starting out and I had my three and a half gallon a minute pressure washer, uh, one of the first things I invested in was, was hose reels. Um, and I'll, I'll drop some footage in of what that actually looked like back in the day, three years ago. And there's actually some videos on the channel. You can see me building that out with a wood skid in the back of my truck. But I had hose reels from almost day one. There was a few jobs we did without them, but uh, I love Hane hose reels. These are absolute ideal and um, I love these because these are electric and after you've spent some time out in the field and you're just cranking these reels you can really feel that in your shoulder but I'm talking hundreds of house washes later um, you know you may not want to start off with these these are a little little pricey they're more of a, a luxury than a need uh, more of a want than a need but I absolutely love my Hane Ho reels and over here we, we still have two hand crank reels uh, this is a stainless steel Hane, which is good to use your soft wash system through because it's stainless steel so the the, chem, the corrosive chemicals won't actually damage the inside of the reel. And this is a uh, 
just a water hose reel that we pull off and uh, take and hook up to the spigot uh, for our water for a buffer, buffer tank. Now, um, these are Hanais, these are on stacks. That's why they're too high. So we actually have a Titan, which was one of our very first hose reels. Actually, it was the very first. I had another one and I sold it to a buddy. But uh, you can see this one just kind of rotates freely. It doesn't have these locking pins like the other ones do. So we have to put a clamp on it. Uh, it's worked perfectly. This is a spare uh, that we use on another soft wash system. But uh, we love, Hane is my number one choice overall. Then we like Titan and Kings. It's all about the same after that. Now I wanna to talk to you about your pressure washer hose. Most of the pressure washers you buy come with a 25 or 50 foot section of really stiff black hose. This is Fierce Jet. Uh, gray non-marking hose. It's absolutely my favorite hose to use. It's very uh, friendly. It's uh, rated high enough pressure to do what we're doing. It, uh, if, it's just so much more flexible. Uh, you can move with it and not really get tangled up. As you can see, we have a ball valve. This is a ball valve and this ball valve swivels. So when you're pulling this out, you can turn the ball valve instead of turning this whole hose and getting it all kinked up. But I uh, definitely recommend uh, Fierce Jet non-marking uh, hose or there's a Sutner brand, a couple other brands. We'll have links in the description for all these things that we're talking about. And just for total transparency, if you use those Amazon links, we will get a little bit of a, an affiliate commission. Um, but I will also have in the description a store that I have personally bought a lot of my stuff from that I highly recommend, and that's... Texas pressure washing store out of uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, the owner, Heath Phelps, is a good friend of mine. We talk often. One of the first guys who reached out to me when I was getting started, who really gave me a lot of, uh, a lot of information, a lot of uh, more or less coaching in the sense uh, of how to do some things, how to set some things up, uh, very knowledgeable into the field. But uh, this right here is absolute key and why we're talking about it see how easy that was it's just on a quick connect and uh, this ball valve here is a lifesaver it's got this swivel that's that's what you want on the swivel and you can cut the water off turn the water on and it just makes life a lot easier besides having to run back and forth and turn your machine on and off to switch attachments so Get you some gray non-marking hose. It's one of the first things we ever started off with. When I went and bought mine, and you can see just how easy that electric reel is. Now, for our water hose, we like to use Flexzilla. It's very flexible. It's not very stiff. I think this is actually my second season with this water hose, which is, I feel like, a really good investment. We actually carry an extra 100 foot of hose on the trailer in case we need more than a hundred foot, this is a hundred foot right here. But one of the things I can't stress enough is getting these, uh, they're like banjo uh, quick connects, but what it allows you is to go up and screw this onto the uh, spigot. And then once you get that screwed onto the spigot, you just come up with your quick connect and you're just bam and you're locked in. So highly, highly recommend these right here. We'll see, the, these actually came from Tractor Supply, but we'll see if I can get some links and get those uh, dropped on there for you. But Flexzilla has been great for us. We highly recommend it. And I don't really see any reason why they were switching around anything different. Now, I wanna to talk to you about our soft wash hose. Um, soft washing is, is vital, uh, a vital part to have on a pressure washing business. Um, Cause you soft wash houses, right? You don't, you don't pressure wash houses. Um, but a dedicated soft wash system, you can clean roofs. You know, if you've ever seen those, uh, those roof stains, those black stains with moss and stuff, this is how you apply a stronger chemical. But I wanna just talk to you real quick about this hose while we're talking about hose. This is a uh, soft jet, which is flex jet. This is a 5 8 hose, stainless steel reel. And uh, this, is the, this is on a quick connect, just to make things easier. Uh, this is a water boss gun. If you can see that, it's water boss. It looks like it's been through the ringer, but it just keeps on going. We love it. 
It's got a lot of use. We've cleaned a lot of roofs. We've cleaned a lot of commercial buildings with this. This is a high volume system that this is connected to. We actually, actually have another low volume soft wash. We have two soft wash, two pressure wash systems on this trailer. But this water boss gun, I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm gonna see if it's got a number on it. This is the, uh, it's a half inch, rated for 750 PSI. So we absolutely love the water boss gun. I can't say enough good things about it. And this soft jet flex jet hose, uh, it's it's amazing. It's it's the same hose as the pressure washer, but it's it's called soft jet for soft washing. So I had forgot to mention a minute ago when we we're talking about the pressure washing hose about the pressure washing gun. Uh, we like to use the ST 2305s or the 2605s. Um, they're a good gun, easy squeeze trigger. When you get these guns, they're not going to come with these uh, connectors on them. Okay. Uh, you have to get the quick connects and put on here yourself. There'll be links for that stuff down below. And it's really simple to get some Teflon tape, screw that on, get these babies going. But everything works real good. And what makes this gun so good is this tip right here. This system right here, if you can see that, that right there is a Davis shooter tip right here, the one on the bottom. Davis shooter tip. This is a dual tip holder from Davis shooter tip and an M5 twist. Uh, M5 twist is a, um, it's a fan and a stream. And all you do is just adjust it on the fly. So while we're washing the house and we're just spraying the side, you want it on a fan. But when you get up, maybe you're on a second story or you're hitting some gutters, you want to turn that onto a stream. And if you need just a little bit more than that stream, something a little bit tighter, or maybe something with a little bit more punch to maybe get some of the black stuff off or some locking, get that Davis shooter tip. When you pair this right here with this gun, this system, this is an awesome setup. It's the best one. You see some people use these J-Rod setups and they're okay in my opinion. I'm just not a fan. There's too many tips. Uh, I can have one that does it all and that's my preference. I've been day one M5 twist and I had this because I bought it to have on my soft wash, uh, my original soft wash system. So I've just kind of kept it. Uh, and, it, and it works, it works just fine. A lot of guys use this, but I'm an M5 twist guy. So just to touch base on this right here, as you can see, this is my little hub center, my toolbox. This is where we keep a bunch of our stuff in here for like our guns and nozzles and stuff will stay in here. And this right here connection where you pull your hose off because I personally don't like to run chemicals through my hose reels. So this is for your pressure washer and uh, there's two. So this is for the 10 gallon when we hook up to clean concrete, we plug our hose into here, quick connect it, and uh, we just can keep it capped. So you just plug that quick connect onto that, and then here is uh, the eight gallon. But what I want to touch on is this uh, right here. This is a downstream injector. This line right here runs over to our chemical tank, and that allows us to pull chemical through this line to put downstream in to clean houses with. So this is how we uh, draw our cleaning solution to clean houses. Now these are interchangeable, quick connect, pull that out, put another one in if you need to, if it goes bad. If it goes bad, there's rebuild kits. Uh, with, there's like a little ball and a little spring and you can replace that. But uh, we keep everything on quick connects and this, this loop right here is called a bypass. And I'm gonna to touch base with you on that. As you can see, this black box is a is an electronic ball valve. And really what you gotta do, and all that you, so when you're, you know, you're cleaning to make things a little bit easier and more efficient on you is, uh, this is called a Flow Pro. They have a smart bypass. My buddy John Hall builds and sells those. Uh, you just gotta come over here and when you're cleaning, you just hit mix. And so it's already in mix mode because the light's not flashing. So you spray your chemicals on your house. You want to rinse your chemicals off. You see how you see that light flashing? So that when I know 
that light's flashing that I'm gonna be getting water. So what it's doing is it's going around, it's bypassing this. And uh, you wanna talk about really stepping your game up. This is a must have piece of equipment, in my opinion, whether you're uh, advanced or just starting out. Efficiency is key. If you're starting out pressure washing, you gotta get you a few orange cones. Uh, you need to make sure that people know that you're working. It's a safety thing. Most cities and states require that. You just need to check with your code, but get those so you can block off your truck or your trailer or an area that you're working in. Maybe it's a sidewalk. That way someone don't walk and have a, you don't have a trip hazard with your hose or someone gets sprayed. Pick you up some of those orange cones. They're definitely worth it. Hey guys, next I want to talk about this gas powered soft wash system, or as some may refer to it as a gas roof pump. This is a uh, gas roof pump with a P40 pump. Uh, that's the pump that's on it. I'm a big fan of the gas soft wash system. Uh, they put out a lot of volume and low pressure, you know, about 250, 350 PSI at max and about 11 gallons a minute on this one. So you're talking about cleaning really fast. We like to use these on commercial jobs when we're cleaning. And sometimes if I have to run a second person, I will use this and the other person will use the eight gallon minute to downstream with. But what makes this so efficient and so powerful when you're out there working is this uh, manifold system. So this manifold makes everything so much quicker. This is your water, so you know that your water is open, it's coming in, and it's going through and through your pump and out to your hose over there. It's, it's a little bit of a, not really a complicated system, you just got to understand how a few things work. And you know, this is your, your soap tank um, for whatever kind of soaps you want to use, if you want to use soaps, and this is your chemical tank. This is where your bleach is going to come from over here. Uh, and this is all going to draw through and mix. So you got these valves on here that you can custom um, set well, how strong of a mix you want. It's a, it's a unique piece of equipment. It's, I highly recommend it. Uh, I've never batch mixed. If you guys have heard about batch mixing, it's a cheap way to do soft wash, but I'm a big fan of doing, uh, doing these systems right here. These come with a three-way remote on a... Uh, these are a shoddy valves and that manifold. They're very, very nice. I really like them. Highly recommend these, the P40. Okay guys, so I wanna to talk to you guys about this right here. You see there's another manifold system here and then there's a pump. This is what I would recommend for probably eight out of 10 guys starting out. Uh, maybe even most guys starting out is one of these uh, 12 volt pumps. This is a flow jet. 12 volt pump that feeds out to my extra soft wash, the, the reel that I showed you before. So this is essentially the same as the gas roof pump system, except for the volume output. Now the gas roof pump puts out about 11. This puts out about six, five and a half to six roughly. Uh, there's a lot of other factors. It's rated for six, um, but it's the same system. You can adjust your your metering system, your water, your chemicals, your soap, everything's the same, but there's no three-way valve. So this is just, you know, this is perfect, a perfect setup for roof cleaning. If you're starting out and you want to get in the roof cleaning, you need this system right here. It's pretty inexpensive. You can build this yourself, or you can talk with my buddy Heath and they sell a system that's already put together and it comes in a really nice, I believe a toolbox and I, I can't think of what the name of it's called off the top of my head, maybe it's a Texas Tornado, but I'll have links to these uh, in the description, or you can feel free to call the Texas Pressure Washing Store, tell them what you're looking for, make sure you tell them that Jeremy with Kentucky Wash Pros sent you, and they'll be more than glad to take care of you. But this is a soft wash system, and it's powered via battery. And the battery is, um, I'll put in the tool, my toolbox over there on the uh, workstation side. So one of the most important things that you can have when you're starting with your pressure washing business is a surface cleaner. And this is all that this is. You can just clean the concrete instead of going back and forth the wand. And it makes things so much easier. You just walk right behind it. And uh, 
What makes this so nice is that this is Whisper Wash. It's made in America. I wouldn't have anything else other than a Whisper Wash. Now there's a few other brands um, that are out there that I would probably consider that are made in America. But uh, if you want to compare this to BE or what have you, uh, I'm going with Whisper Wash. Now, I know guys, when you're starting out, you have budgets and you have to start out with what you want to. But this is the size of a, that you could actually even pair with a um, four gallon a minute machine. This uh, Whisper Wash comes in a 16 inch. This is a 19. It would be just a tad big for a four gallon, but it could work. You just gotta go a little bit slower. But um, I understand, you know, if you're not starting off with a four gallon, you may need a uh, two and a half to a three and a half gallon a minute machine. If that's what you're starting with, so be it. I'll actually show you what I started with, uh, with the surface cleaner. And this is what we've upgraded to. So this is the 19 inch, and this is actually the Mini Mondo. This is the other surface cleaner that we started with. As you can see, it's 31 inches, and uh, this is what we use on our 10 gallon minute machine when we're doing big 50,000 square foot jobs or anything really over about 2,500 square feet. We'll just throw the 10 gallon out, throw that on it, and be done in no time. But uh, guys, I just wanna share some tips and tricks on these equipment that, that will help you. I mean, I know it's very confusing. And if you've got questions, guys, there'll be a link down in there. You can reach out to me uh, personally. Uh, if you wanna schedule a call, there'll be a, a link down there to schedule a call if you've got questions. Uh, time is valuable, so if you're serious about it, then there's a link down there. So if you guys are interested in getting a turnkey skid, something that you can set in the back of your truck, they're really nice, they're aluminum. Pretty much everything I've got on this trailer comes on a skid that goes in the back of your truck. It's very compact and makes a very nice uh, setup if, if your truck allows you to do that. Now I would recommend at least a half ton truck minimum to do that. Uh, and then three quarter to a quarter ton, just depending on how big you wanna go. Um, but if you're looking to get a trailer that's already built, if you're cash flowing or if you have the cash reserves to, to do that, then reach out to Heath at Texas Pressure Washing Store or uh, I'm trying to think, I think her name's Caitlin. I think she's the store manager. She will take care of you. Just make sure you tell them that Jeremy with Kentucky Wash Pro sent you and they'll be sure to take care of you on that. But these are, these are where you want to get to. It might not be where you start. It's not where I started. Like I said, guys, there's a, a video back on the early in the channel. You can see that. But, you know, if you're looking to pick this stuff up, I'll have links to it. If you need to call, you have to custom order a trailer or a skid if that's something that you want to do. So just be sure to call them and let them know what you're looking for. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you have, do me a favor. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. What are you doing? Are you looking to get started? Are you new? Are you experienced? Have you been in it for a few years? Are you stuck in a rut? You need some guidance? Just drop us a comment and let us know. We'd greatly appreciate it. And oh, by the way, if you're interested in learning more, we've got a podcast. It's called the Wash Tube Podcast. We go live on Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. There'll be a link in there to join the Facebook group. Hey, you're welcome to join the Facebook group. We go live on the on our YouTube channels and the Facebook group. So guys, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great 2024.